Hi, I'm Dr. Amanda Furr. I'm the Physician Executive for Primary Care at Community Health Network. We need a lot of ways for patients to access care, especially right now with the COVID crisis. Everybody has different needs and different abilities to seek care, and we want to make sure that we're meeting the needs of the patient in the way they want to seek care. How have you been since the last time? Virtual care really can be designed to meet the patient's needs. Some people would prefer to have care from the comfort of their home, so we've expanded our virtual care. Others feel like they really need that face-to-face -face interaction with their provider, and so we want to be able to serve them in that way as well. So we have on-demand virtual care, and we offer it 24-7. You can access that care through our website, and um, that people may need for common illnesses, ailments, or immediate concerns that happen outside of their traditional primary care provider's office hours. So we're offering virtual care for most of our specialties at this point. Um, surgical care is offering follow-ups virtually or consultations even if you're a new patient. You can meet with a provider virtually, ask your questions and determine the best path of care after that. Behavioral health services continue to expand the offerings that they have for virtual care, bringing that service, that much needed service during this time to people in a different way. Hello. Hi, come on in. Certainly I feel that COVID has changed the way we deliver healthcare and it's changed it forever. We will likely never go back to the way it was before. But that's, not a, that's not necessarily a bad thing. Um, I think of the way and that patients have responded to the virtual options. Many find it such a positive experience and they want it to continue. Sometimes a barrier for access is the financial implications of healthcare. Um, and many people are out of work right now and might be uninsured or underinsured and we want them to know that we're here to support them and provide the care. We have many resources across our network to help break down that barrier um, that finance may bring. I believe that all patients expect us to deliver exceptional care. That's what they come in for. They come in for high quality, exceptional care in a safe environment. Making it simple is not always easy. And that's what we're really committed to doing here at Community Health Network, is creating a simple option, but not just one option, the option that suits the patient.